staying with politics, the Liberal Democrat leader was in the patch debate again yeah. today. Sir Davy, so this is the for the second time uh, in less than a week. He was in Torbay last Wednesday. He was back in Torbay in Paynton this time, although uh, just the other side of the constituency uh, boundary. So he's in the South Devon seat this time, and uh, you can see he was there on the the beach and taking continuing this sort of light-hearted approach to campaigning, which has become his trademark over the last few weeks, um, building sandcastles this week, so a bit less outlandish than some of the stunts he's pulled, foot, pulled falling off paddle boards and that kind of thing. But when he finished his uh, bucket and spade time, I caught up with him and started by asking him about the party's plans to take further measures against second homes. For example, we are saying that local authorities could increase the council tax on second home owners. Five um, times over? No, we'd be up to them, that would be up to five. Some will probably just do it 100%, 100% some may 200%. But the important thing is you fine-tune it to the area um, and on the size of the problem. But it is a problem, there's no doubt about it. Um, all our uh, campaigners across the country in coastal areas, in, in tourist areas, saying it's a real problem. Now, turning to sewage pollution, this has been a massive issue which the Lib Dems have pushed. You are saying that by 2030 you'll have legally binding targets which will stop the storm overflows, which are allowed to um, operate in exceptional circumstances, um, completely into bathing waters by 2030. Now, the Conservatives have said, look, everybody wants to see them go. But if we're to eliminate them completely, we'd have to dig up the entire sewerage system. It would cost £600 billion and water bills would trouble. How on earth will you achieve that? by 2030, six years time? Well, I don't believe those scare tactics of the Conservatives, uh, to be, be frank with you. If we have more t uh, tougher regulator and we're saying replace off what with the Clean Water Authority... We've got powers. a combined sewage system that takes rainwater and sewage. That's the point, isn't it? While we've got that system, for most of the country, you will need these storm overflows. Oh, yeah, no, we do need storm overflows. You're absolutely right. We need to have a greater size ones. But there's many ways of, of, of sorting out this problem. And because we have really pushed more monitoring, more information, you can get much more intelligent investment to really tackle the problem. And the water companies, I'm afraid, uh, I, I don't really quite buy what they say. They've been borrowing billions of pounds to pay their shareholders huge amounts of money and not investing. What we're saying is they're going to have to invest through tougher regulation. And if they don't invest, we're going to, going to have a sewage tax on their profits, restructure the industry so the environment and uh, public health is put above profits. But you say you would enforce the existing rules against illegal pollution uh, more effectively. The Conservatives have introduced unlimited fines for these incidents. The problem, surely, is, and the Chief Executive of the Environment Agency gave evidence to a laws committee recently, saying the problem is they don't have the funds to investigate and prosecute the number of cases they'd oh. like to. So you can have as many rules as you like, but you need more money for the, I, I, the enforcement. I, I totally accept your argument. The Environment Agency have been dramatically underfunded by the Conservatives. And you're right, they don't have the people to enforce. You decrease that's funding. Uh, that's part of our, our plan. We have a £1 billion package for rural areas, which includes largely more support for farmers, but there's also a, a, a nature element to that. And, you know, we're actually not talking huge amounts of money, um, but it's critical investment so that we can monitor things properly. Okay, Debbie, thank you very much.